wonderful outside. This is Malibu. We are in the clouds at this point. So they're starting to really move in. They're developing. This is all a precursor to a storm that's on the way for tomorrow. Underneath the clouds, it does look a little bit gloomy out there, though. 57 degrees right now in Malibu. And this is what it looks like underneath those clouds in Long Beach. 57 degrees. So we do have some gray skies out there. We're going to talk about a big storm system that is headed our way. We could get a little bit of rainfall later on this evening. Not expecting a whole lot at this point. The Malive Mega Doppler 7000 not picking up much. And the winds that will be accompanying that storm system are going to be gusting. We'll talk about that coming up in a full forecast. But watches and warnings are in place, and the storm is on the way. Guys? All right, thanks, Leslie. Saturday morning, we are looking outside right now at your traffic report, and we do have a couple of ABC7 traffic alerts to report. We are looking at an accident on the 110 southbound right at Olympic. There is the left lane that is blocked at this time due to a new collision. It's going to be slow going through downtown at this point. And then we also have another alert uh, a little bit further out to the 60, but this one as well, the 605 northbound right at Slauson Avenue. That's a new collision. Two lanes are blocked on the right-hand side. And then this is another ABC7 traffic alert where we're seeing the 60 west Westbound right at Azusa. This accident happened at midnight. There is an investigation taking place, so lanes are still closed through the area. That wraps it up, guys. Over to you as we're looking at Caltrans, still moving along just fine in downtown. Looking we're going good. to notice the temperatures are also going to be climbing today. It's going to be beautiful. You can see that movement there. Can't you just see it subtly? Oh, very nice. So where we are looking at 57 right now through Malibu, and this is what it looks like underneath the cloud cover. So it is gray. We have a lot of that haze this morning as well. Long Beach camera 57 degrees out there, humidity around 83%. So we do have a nice line of storms heading right through the Sierras. And this line of storms uh, bringing in a little bit of Sierra snowfall, but not a whole lot, not just yet. We're waiting for our secondary storm system to arrive, and that one's coming in tomorrow and bringing in quite heavy downforce for us here in the Southland. At this point, the live Mega Doppler 7000 HD not picking up a whole lot, just a couple of areas of some cloud coverage and a couple areas of some light drizzle. That's it at this point. Tonight, we could see the first of the rain arrive. It'll be very light around 7, 8 o'clock tonight. That's when it for, could first arrive. But by the time we hit tomorrow morning into your afternoon, this is what's coming. All this green, this rainfall that's due to arrive at times can be very heavy and accompanying it, some gusty, windy conditions. So looking through about at 7 o'clock tomorrow evening is when we're starting to see things quiet down a little bit. So here we go. Tonight, some scattered showers. I want to put this in motion. This is our forecast. I'll break it down for you hour by hour. And then as we're heading into... About 11:30 tomorrow morning, we get the storm coming on through. So that means gusty conditions, lightning is a possibility, heavy downpours at times, and this is encompassing most of the south line at this point. By the time we hit about 3:30, it's starting to make its way down through the southeast. San Bernardino still affected, Temecula now also into Orange County, and then 6:30 we still have some scattered showers continuing on through the mountain communities, and then we head into Monday morning and things become a little bit more quiet. Still some snowfall for Big Bear Mountain areas. And then it's out of here, gone by Monday afternoon. As far as your and a beautiful look outside in Anaheim, we are seeing the clouds starting to develop. We'll talk about a storm system that's moving in tomorrow. It's a big one, an El Nino storm on the way. Stay with us. And okay, we're getting ready for a storm system that's moving in tomorrow. Right now, our live Mega Doppler 7000 HD not picking up a whole lot. Now we have a couple of areas where we're seeing some thick cloud coverage moving its way on through. A little bit of drizzle right through Hemet Palm Springs. That's it. But we are waiting for the storm system to arrive, which tonight. We could get a little tiny bit of rainfall as a precursor to what's ahead. It's tomorrow that the storm does develop, and we'll talk about the timing of that. But with it, we're also looking at some winds, and those winds are going to be gusting. If you're into Los Angeles and Orange County, 56 degrees for your morning, 67 by your afternoon, and then at 5 p.m., 65 degrees with an increasing chance, just a slight one though, of 10 percent for your evening as far as rain is concerned. If you're going to be in the valleys and in the Inland Empire, 52 for us this morning, 65 in the afternoon, and then a 30 percent chance of rain by 5 p.m. We're going to talk a lot about tomorrow, but we're looking at hail, lightning, the potential for some flooding as well. Guys, over to you. Good morning to you. We have several accidents to report here this morning. We are looking at a collision right now on the 605 northbound right at Slauson. If you're heading in that direction, it's a new crash. The right-hand lane is blocked at this time. Also, over into the 60 westbound right at Azusa Avenue. This was a collision that happened around midnight, and this accident has, issue, has been issued a, an ABC7 traffic alert, which means that some lanes are still closed, and we did have quite a bit of traffic earlier. Another SIG alert or traffic alert this morning on the 5 southbound right at L2. 
Toro Road. We do have a Caltrans camera showing that crash. So it is slow if you are going to be Green heading layer. on the Finally trying to push on out of here, but more clouds on the way with 57 degrees out in Long Beach. So our storm that we're waiting for, some of that is already into the north. We're looking at Northern California. The Sierra is getting some snowfall. You can see that developing out there. But we are waiting for a nice plume of moisture to be arriving here in the Southland by tomorrow. Now it looks like tomorrow morning into your afternoon and evening is when we're going to get some heavy downpours coming through. Right now, our live Mega Doppler 7000 HD not picking up much, just areas of drizzle, some cloud coverage, most of that Virga. But we are looking at a future forecast model that is predicting this. This is our plume of moisture that's going to start to follow the path of a trough. It's our jet, jet stream that's starting to sag down a little bit lower, and it'll finally sag down close enough to the Southland where the rainfall that we're expecting means maybe even an inch of rain for some areas right against the coastal areas and then valley spots, maybe even two inches of rain. That's a lot of rain in a short amount of time. So we are looking out to uh, just warn you that flooding is a concern. This is our future forecast model, which I love this high res model. As we're going to put the clock in motion, we have some scattered showers starting up and that will be tonight. Some light showers developing most areas not getting a lot. And then by the afternoon tomorrow, we are looking at widespread rainfall. You can see all this red and orange. That is all the rain that is going to be taking place. Most of it, this is the brunt of it moving on through by 4 p.m. It is quickly passing right through San Bernardino down into Orange County and then into Riverside County down through San Diego and then it starts to break apart and then by Sunday at 7 p.m. still a couple of showers over the mountains and then Monday morning still some slight little A forecast. There is some rain and it's not quite happening just now but it will be getting going tomorrow. So we are looking outside right now at our live Mega Doppler 7000 HD and we have a couple areas of some cloud coverage. The dual Doppler is moving around, not picking up a whole lot. We do have our first chance of some light showers coming through as early as this evening, but again, that's just some light stuff. The real storm doesn't arrive till tomorrow. So as we are looking out, we're concerned about winds. The wind advisory has been issued. A high wind warning has also been issued for the desert communities. We're going to see some gusty conditions out there by the time the tor the storm passes. So Monday we're seeing those winds picking up to maybe even hurricane force in some areas like the desert communities. We'll talk more about that. Otherwise for today, Los Angeles and Orange County, 56 degrees with partly cloudy skies, 67 at noon and then at 5 p.m. We're about 65 degrees with a slight chance of rain coming through, only a 10% chance. If you're in the IE or inland areas, we're going to see a high of about 52 today, this morning, and then 65 in the afternoon. And instead of a 10% chance, it's a 30% chance if you are in the valley spots by 5 p.m. We'll talk more about the storm that's on the way tomorrow. Some lightning, some thunder. We're also looking at a chance of flooding. Guys, over to you. We'll right. continue to build in Van Nuys, 55 degrees and then 70% relative humidity. We are looking at a storm up to the north. So here's where we're seeing a little line of storms right through the Sierra. So some of that uh, snowfall, which is great news as we're looking into Mammoth, parts of Tahoe, and some of that starting to make its way down through the Southland. So that all happens tomorrow. Today, we're going to see the clouds build. We're going to get some gray skies and then we have a chance tonight for a little bit of rainfall. Right now we're only seeing it through Hemet and Palm Springs. That's it. Now we are going to notice uh, by the time we hit tomorrow and tomorrow afternoon, that's where we're going to see the big storm arrive. So we have a little bit of time. Low pressure to the north is starting to see this jet stream flatten out and sag a little bit further to the south. That's good news for us because that jet stream has been seeing well to the north. With that coming down into the southland, that means some rainfall and we could get an inch to two inches uh, depending on where you're at. So if you're along the coastal communities, it means an inch of rain, but right up against the foothills, right near the valleys, we could get an inch to two inches of rainfall. For the mountains, it means snow as well. So our future forecast models, this is our nice high-res forecast model, putting it in motion. We're going to see all this rain start to develop. This is around your afternoon. You can see it's more widespread, stretching into the Inland Empire, out through Los Angeles, even into the Kern County areas, and then it moves on through very quickly. So it's fast moving. With it, it's bringing in some lightning and thunder potentially, even some water spouts out to the coast. And then we could expect to see snow elevations drop down to about 6,000 feet. So for our seven day outlook powered by Accu and 75 mile per hour gust, that's hurricane force winds out there. So we are looking at uh, a very fast moving gusty storm system. We'll be carrying it tomorrow. So tune here. We'll talk all about that guys over to you, but a good El Nino storm that's coming your way.